Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Eye Creations. If you're new here, my name is Laurel, and I love to create. It is so nice outside today. The sun is shining. I wanted to make something for spring, something you could have a lot of fun with. So today we are going to make these very easy but so sweet little sock bunnies. And as I was making these, and I thought, these are so cute, but what does every little bunny need? But maybe a little lamb friend. So I also made this little lamb. So I'm going to show you guys right now how you can make your very own little bunnies and lambs. Let's get started. Okay, we can start with some white crew socks, some faux fur, all different kinds and colors. I've got some stickers I will use for noses and some stickers for eyes, some jute rope, ribbon, flowers, polyfill, little wooden discs from Dollarama, and some pebbles. And we're going to start by putting our wooden disc right at the bottom of our sock. And a little bit of polyfill right on top of that, just a little bit to start off with. And now we're going to put a, one of those little tiny solo cups full of pebbles right at the bottom. And then fill with polyfill. This is really up to you how big you want your little bunny to be. So I'm just going to go so it's just below the heel. And then just top that off with an elastic, leaving that nice long piece there. Just kind of even it out now, make sure everything's nice in there. Pick where you want your head to be and you can kind of form it with your hand. And then just throw an elastic on there loosely, you don't want that one too tight. Next I'm just going to take a little piece of this jute rope here just to tie around that elastic. The hot glue tends to break the elastic so this kind of just protects it. Same thing at the top one. And now we are going to find the center of our top piece here. And then we're just going to cut straight down the center, both piece, both sides, I guess. <laughs> and then just round out your edges. I should add, if you want to make your ears a little shorter at this time, you can. It's up to you if you want long ears or shorter ears. And then we're just going to start hot gluing it together to form our ears. So just along the one side, just do little pieces at a time, just so you can make it even all the way down until you get to the end. And just hot gluing all the way around. You don't have to be too, too picky if it looks awesome at this point, because it is going to be covered up by our faux fur later. I just continue to hot glue all the way around those until you have two little ears. And then we're going to pick what faux fur we want. So for this, I'm using this pink faux fur. I'm going to cut these thin strips. If you have longer faux fur, you don't need to make so many strips. It depends. We just need enough to go around the bunny's ears. So for this, I'm just now hot gluing one end down and then the other side, just so they meet in the middle, just so we have a nice strip there. And then just hot glue those right to the ed edges of the bunny ear, all the way around. Now for this, you can use whatever kind of faux fur you want. This pink faux fur I'm using here, this actually used to be leg warmers. So when you get to the part here that does meet up, just hot glue it together. And with the faux fur, you can kind of just comb it so it overlaps each other and you can't even see where the seam meets up. So just hot gluing all the way around. Again on the other side. Then start with your second strip when you run out and hot glue them together until they meet again. Trim off your extra. And then you've got these nice little fuzzy ears. So cute. And at the top, I just like to go in and glue it all together nicely now at this point so it all looks nice. Add a ribbon to help with that. Pick whatever color, whatever style ribbon. This is where you can really have fun. And now I'm showing you this is another idea of how you can do the ears if you want to do something a little different. And I'm just going to add some pipe cleaner to these ones instead. Just so you can shape them a little bit. So we did the exact same thing as the other one to start with. It's just when we got to this point, I added some pipe cleaner. Just folding down the one end so it fits inside there. I fold it down the other end a little bit too, just so you don't have a pokey end sticking out. And then hot glue it all the way around the edge there, first adding the pipe cleaner in and then gluing it together. Same way we did before. 
all the way around to the bottom. And for this one, I am going to use this brown faux fur. This is this comes in a long strip. You get it at Dollarama. So you can just glue your one long strip. Again, gluing your edges together at the back so they meet. So it just looks nice. And then we're going to glue that all the way around the edge. If this is too wide and you don't think it's too much fur, you can always trim that down before you start gluing too. It's really up to you how, how you want them. That's why I love these guys. You can have so much fun and just get creative with it. For this, I'm using this really pretty little spring ribbon that I had. I got this from Dollarama as well. We're just going to play with it, make a little bow shape. I didn't have trimming it off later because it was way too long. And then another piece around the neck there. We just tied that in a little knot, trimmed it off and then tuck it in. Cover it up there with a nice big pink flower. For the eyes, I'm using these little uh, stickers that I got at Dollarama here as well. And we're just gonna, I just kind of put them on so I can decide where I want them. And then I start hot gluing them once I decide, yep, that's where I want them to be for sure. For the nose and the whiskers. For the whiskers, I just took some jute rope and unraveled it a little bit. Cut a long strip. And then in the center of it, glue in another little pink sticker. I'm now taking a one inch styrofoam ball and I'm just going to cover that with faux fur by placing it just on a piece and then rounding off my edges and wrapping it all the way around with some hot glue. A little hot glue on the ball, wrap your faux fur nice and tight all the way around your styrofoam ball. And the side that probably doesn't look as good that, that all your little edges met at, we're just going to add some hot glue and attach that directly to the back of your bunny. That'll be our little tail. Next, I'm just going to take a little bit of pink mica powder, put that on our cheeks. Okay, so now we're going to start on our lamb. For this one, we are going to start it the exact same way. A little wooden disc at the bottom of our sock, some pebbles, and a little bit of polyfill. This one we're not going to use as much. We're going to make just kind of a ball shape at the bottom of our sock here. As big as you want it to be. Fold down your extra little bit of sock. Add some polyfill and a styrofoam Easter egg. This is going to be our head of our lamb. So we don't want it to be too, too round. So that's why I put the styrofoam Easter egg in there. You want more of a little bit of a point for his nose. Pop that off with an elastic again. Trim off if there is lots. Then I'm just going to take this extra bit and just glue it down all the way around at the top of his head. Next, I am taping, taking this uh, really fluffy fabric. This was a sleep shirt that I actually got at Walmart in the clearance. And I'm just going to take a strip enough to cover our ball piece at the bottom and just hot glue that all the way around him. Tacking it in around the top now. It'll be a little bit gathered at the top. That is okay. And then trim off your extra. Hot glue at the bottom again. Just tacking it down all the way around. Just making nice little folds just so it looks nice and neat at the bottom. Next, I'm going to cut a egg kind of shape that will fit on the top of his head. So just kind of feel it out. Trim it off if need be. And then on the back side, we are going to just hot glue down our edges nice and neat. Take some hot glue and put that right on the top of his head over top of that piece of sock we folded down. Gluing it all the way around. Next, I'm going to take these little sticker eyes and we're going to attach those right on the front of him. I didn't glue them yet because I'm not sure. So on the fold of this fabric, I am now going to cut two little ear shapes, unfold it. Add some hot glue, good side to good side here, I should say, and just glue the edges together. And then we're just going to turn that right side out. Add a little hot glue at the bottom, right on the corners there, and pinch it together at the bottom. Same thing for the other ear. We're going to just hot glue the edges on the good side to good side. Turn it right side out. Little glue at the bottom, pinch it together. And then we're just going to glue these now right under where our little hot hair piece meets at the top there. His little toupee, we'll call it. We're going to glue his little ears right underneath that. Now we're going to take a one inch styrofoam ball and wrap it in that same fabric. 
Just cut out a square piece of fabric so that it wraps all the way around it. Attach a four inch piece of jute rope to the top with some hot glue. Wrap that all the way around and then secure with a piece of jute rope again. This is just a thin piece of jute rope that I had unraveled. And now we're going to just tie that into a neat little bow. Trim off a little piece extra if you need to. Same thing for the other one. We're going to do one more. This one, as you can see, I forgot to add my foreign piece of jute rope at first, but we're just going to attach after. Tie your little bow around it. And poke a hole in to now attach my jute rope with some hot glue. Add a little more hot glue to be safe. <laughs> and now I'm going to glue those two pieces of rope together and then attach it right at the back of my lamb's head there. Just so they hang down, those are going to be his nice little arms. And now I'm just going to make a bow by putting some skewers into this floral foam I have. And we're going to wrap our ribbon around that to make us a bow. I just find that's the easiest way for me to make a bow. Form it nicely. And then we're just going to hot glue that right onto him. Add a little bit of flowers. I ended up changing that flower. I didn't like it too much. Now I took an acrylic black marker and I just made a Y shape right at the tip of his nose there. Now hot gluing his eyes on, making sure they are where I want them to be. This little guy is so cute. I just love him and he's so quick and easy guys. These are so fun to make. You can have so much fun. So I'm adding a little mica powder for his cheeks and I put a little bit in his ears. He is so sweet. This is where you can see I just add changed up those flowers on him. I like these ones better. They're a little more springy. So there it is. You can have so much fun with these bunnies and just do what you want. Get creative. Make them the way you want them to be. Same with your lamb. You can do so much with him as well. These are so easy and fun little spring crafts to make. Here's some of the bunnies I've made in the past to show the fun you can have with these guys. So have fun guys and thanks so much. So there we go. Our little gang is all done. All ready for spring. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And make sure to leave me a comment below. I love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss more great creations. So until the next one, love to all.